Let's do a third example of a thermodynamic calculation. This time we're going to use one that's relevant to industry. When they make silicon chips for semiconductor processing, one of the popular ways to do it is to actually start out in the gas phase and then break it down to form solid silicon. What they start with is silicon tetrachloride, SiCl4, that's a gas. They react it with hydrogen to form silicon and, si and uh, hydrochloric gas, right, HCl. So in this process, we are asked the following. To determine, if this happens at 1500 Kelvin, we're asked to determine the value of the equilibrium constant. And what we're given are the formation energies of si uh, silicon tetrachloride and hydrochloric gas. And these would have to be given at 1500 Kelvin for the, to us to be able to determine this. So since we already have the chemical equation, the first thing we can do is remind ourselves how to calculate the change in free energy. So that means delta G equals delta G naught right, plus RT natural log of Q. And we know that at equilibrium, since we're determining the equilibrium constant, we know that delta G, this whole thing, equals zero, right? Therefore, delta G naught must equal negative RT natural log of Q, okay? Therefore, we can solve for, and since it's at equilibrium, we no longer call it Q, we call it K, technically is the, the word, same thing. Um, so now we could solve for K. We would say that K, the equilibrium constant, is going to be equal to the exponential of negative delta G naught over RT. Okay, so what is delta G naught? For that, we have to remember how to solve for delta G naught, that this is also equal to, over here, the sum of the products over the sum of the reactants, where you take the sum of the formation energies. So for us, that's going to be four times the formation energy of hydrochloric gas, right? So that's gonna be negative 103.8 kilojoules, negative 103.8 kilojoules per mole, um, plus silicon, since that's an element, we're just gonna call it zero. Over here, hydrogen's just a zero on our reactants, but sil sil silicon tetrachloride is not. It's going to be minus one times, uh, where is it, negative 467 kilojoules per mole. When I plug those in, I find that delta G naught for this reaction is equal to 51.8 kilojoules per mole. 51.8 kilojoules per mole. So now we can take this and we can plug it in right there for our negative delta G naught. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be equal to the exponential of, I'm going to write it in joules, 51,800 joules, right, divided by 8.314 times 1,500 Kelvin. This was joules per mole Kelvin, so all of our units cancel out. And what we end up with is a value of 1.57 e to the 2. 1.57 e to the negative 2. So that would be our equilibrium constant for this reaction.